home front revolution completely sucks. Home front revolution is basically a worse version of Duke Nukem Forever. The game. I don't like the PC and PS4 ones are like a 50, like a 20 frames per second. No, no, one frame per second. You can drop to zero frames per second. It's just terrible. Like, it's very hard to switch your weapons in your game. Um, it's so hard to do that. Like, and now we're talking about the graphics. Oh my god. The graphics are so awful. It's not even um, 720p. It's always these low quality, really awful graphics. I think this game was like 20, zero plays per second, of course. Because of course this game is awful. Like, look at like, the scores, like the like the ratings for this game. Um, It has lower... It has like a world of 60 by critics. It has a 3.0 by users. And this game is as well as another generic void shooter with a bad frame rate and bad graphics. That's basically what this game is another generic shooter with bad gameplay and bad graphics. But. Let me tell you something. This game is still better than Undertale. I would rather play this game for 8 hours straight than ever have to play an awful game ever again. I would rather play this than play Undertale because Undertale sucks. The game, the graphics are like black and white. There's no way because of course it's a boy and a yes right game. It's a, that's what Undertale is. But Whole Front the Revolution is one of the most awful, most terrible games to ever come out. This generation. Um, really swappy gameplay. Um, really awful online. Terrible servers. Um, awful graphics. Awful frame rate. The game always stays around like two, 20 frames per second. Sometimes it dips to like 2 to 3 frames per second. And that's, this game is terrible. Never play it. Never buy it. Never look at it.